Hello, what a spine day it is today, isn't it? You are most likely here because you would like to know how to export your illustration from Affinity Designer right into Spine. The good news is, you don't need to export every layer separately, and even better, Affinity exports a Spine JSON along with your illustration. This means Spine will import the image as you made it, with everything into place. I'll be starting with the basics of getting started, with exporting an export-ready illustration. Phew. That was a lot of exporting into one sentence. This means that you should already have your illustration divided into different layers. So, simple things first, extra things later in this video to help those impatient souls with limited attention spans. Oh hey look, a bird! My illustration has a bunch of different groups to keep things organized. However, to create slices for every image, it's easier to not have groups, unless you want to go through the hassle of selecting every layer individually. I'm going to go through that hassle, for the sake of incorporating, easily changing and exporting things in the future. If you however want to ungroup everything in one go, use layer, ungroup all, to ungroup every layer and then proceed to select every layer. To select every layer, you need to select all of them individually, while holding control. There's no way around this as far as I have found. Otherwise we end up selecting the group instead and it won't create the correct slice for the individual images. For the layer selection, it does not matter in which persona you are. The selection will transfer over to every persona. When you have everything selected, make sure you're in the expert persona. In the layer panel on the bottom right, it says create slice. When you click this, it will create a slice for every layer you selected. In the slices panel, all these should show up. Make sure the ones you want to export are selected. In the slice panel on top, there is the batch builder, which is initially empty. Select spine JSON. This will create a JSON file along with the slices which you can import into spine. Double check if everything is correct so nothing explodes. Um, I mean, nothing misses. Click export slices and select a folder. I recommend creating a separate one for the slices and to call it images, with a capital I. It's instantly done, no waiting time. Check your folder to see the images and check if the spine JSON file is in there. Nothing missing? Alright, let's go to spine. In spine, simply go to the menu, import data and locate your JSON file. Name your skeleton, set your scale and choose if you want it in your current project or if you want a new project. Normally the images should be visible, especially if you name the folder images. If it shows missing, click on the images folder and locate or change the folder. Naming your initial folder images with a capital I eliminates this step and saves time. Also in case you need it, in the spine settings you can change the bone scale in case you have a small or large illustration and you want to change the size of the bones. We now have our illustration imported into spine and you can begin with rigging. If you'd be interested in seeing a tutorial on setting up your skeleton, let me know and I'll make it happen. This was it for the basics. Here are some extra small tips and tricks. In the expert persona, you can select which layers are invisible in the preview, but will be exported in the export. Useful for creating a base image without all the extras, like close eyelids. Who needs to see those, am I right? Selecting continuous as an option in the slice menu, continuously updates the export images while you change them. This means that you can make a change in designer I'll tap into spine and see the result instantly, without saving first. You might need to re-export all the slices if you didn't initially select this. And if you don't see them change in the real time when you alt tap, click refresh into spine and disable limit scanning to refresh. With this method, you can for instance make dummy art to start the rigging and animation process early and add detail into them later without messing anything up and without too much extra work afterwards. Or just change the looks if you get bird, I mean bored, of your character. Of course, you could use or set up skins and spine to get the same result in case you have several characters with the same animations. For those of you familiar with the Photoshop export script, it has the option to export groups as skins. Affinity does not have this option at this moment in time. This was it for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and clear. If you have any questions, suggestions for future tutorials or feedback, leave it down below in the comments.
thumbs up if you thought this tutorial was helpful or thought my puns were funny. Who am I kidding? Subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. Thank you for watching.